YouTubers, gamers, and movie girls, what's going on, guys? I'm the Masai, this is Masai Entertainment, and today we are talking about the news that broke about Linda Hamilton returning back to the Terminator franchise. It's been announced that the uh, new line of uh, Terminator films that's being, the first one at least being directed by Tim Miller and, the and all of them being produced by James Cameron will now have OG star Linda Hamilton, aka Sarah Connor, returning back to, the t to that role. Now, upon hearing that news, instantly I say, good. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we've tried a younger one with Amelia Clark. Hey, great actress, love her in Game of Thrones, amazing actress. But, you know, I don't know, I, you know, I'm not even gonna say but, it wasn't her fault that that movie was kind of eh. You know, I don't even think Genesis was a terrible movie, it's just I had to look at it as its own movie. I couldn't look at it as a Terminator movie. But I mean, after these past three, Rise of the Machines, and then Salvation, oh my god. And then, you know, <laughs> you know and then, you know, coming in, you know, with Genesis, you know, I've just been dying for another Terminator movie that got us back on track. You know, it seems like, uh, from what I hear, they're gonna be retconning those previous three I just stated and starting back right after Terminator 2. You know, so that makes sense to me. You know, if they do a, a time jump where, you know, it takes place a few years after, uh, and you know, it, it, you know, Linda Hamilton, Sarah Connor just naturally aged, they take out all that stuff that she died of leukemia or something like that. You know, and just, just have the story play off again, you know, maybe have another, you know, John Connor somewhere in there. You know, I, maybe you guys don't know this, but I've always had this idea of where the Terminator franchise could and should go. I always felt like, you know, maybe don't take out three. Maybe, maybe take the ideals of three with, you know, you know, fate just happening and, you know, you can't change the fact that Judgment Day will someday happen. And, you know, using that to propel us into the future war. You know what I mean? Like, and then, you know, pick up where Salvation started off. You know, because I thought Salvation, despite it me not really liking that movie too much, I felt like there was a lot of, like, really cool things about it. Like, the, the style I thought was great. I thought the action was actually really great. I felt like they had casted Kyle Reese perfectly with Anton Yelchin, rest, rest in peace. I thought they, they had done such a great job. Christian Bale, you know, despite the Batman voice, I think he did, he, I think he, he I, I bought him as John Connor. You know what I mean? I, I, I didn't necessarily want to see that deep into the war just yet. I kind of wanted to see the rise to fame of John Connor. If that's where they're going with this Terminator franchise, I would love it. I'm not sure if they're gonna do that. I'm not sure if they're gonna go into a post-Judgment Day world. That's why I think they totally should go. I think it's tired out and played out with going back in time and another Terminator comes back and it's coming after us. You know, I'm sure there's ways they could do it where it, it made sense and it played out very well. But I just personally, I don't, I don't think that's what I would want to see. I want to see post-Judgment Day, Judgment Day. I want to see what happens later. You know what I mean? Even when Genesis came out, you know, I was like, oh, okay, they're redoing it. Okay, you know, time has changed a little bit, and you know, they, they, it's the same time period as the old one, but things are different. You know, it was a nice little gimmick, but I was like, I, I just want to see the future work. You know, I want to see what those years look like. I want to see the formative years of the military leader, John Connor. You know, I like that, I, you know, that was one of the few things I liked. Well, not few things. I, I liked a bunch of things about Rise of the Machines. But that was like, I think the biggest thing I liked about Rise of the Machines, you know, like, that movie like set us up for a, mu for, 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 you know, a, a, a post-Judgment Day movie. But I've always felt like, you know, it would be cool to see if they retconned everything and just had John and Sarah be on their own. If Judgment Day just happened anyway, and because Sarah's just, you know, like like a like a you know like a survivalist pretty much, and she's just like a doomsday prepper, you know, they just had their military bunker that they could just jump in once the nukes started going off, so they stay under there. Then after years they come out of hiding, they go over uh, you know, across the land trying to find peoples, you know, so that John Connor could lead the resistance. John Connor's still a little reluctant, like, hey, I can't lead humanity. And then Sarah Connor's trying to push him into that role continuously. And, you know, I would assume somewhere along the line Sarah Connor would die and he would have to take on the mantle and start to, you know, build up a resistance. And yeah, you know, I I, I have a bunch of ideas and you know, I, you know, <laughs> of, of where they could have gone with it and what they could do with it, but like I just hope they, they do something with post judgment day. That's what I'm that's that's the thing I want to see the most. I don't want to see them go back in time. I think it's personally for Terminator. I, I've seen it so many times before. I don't need to see it again. You know what I mean? What are you gonna do with this new if if, you, if this new Terminator, if if it's an older Sarah Connor running away from a newer Terminator, 
you know, even if their guard has been let down and Sarah Connor's kind of like, oh, I can, you know, just rest, I can breathe finally, and then a Terminator pops up out of nowhere in her old age, I mean, yeah, that could be interesting, but I still just, I want to see maybe like an older, grizzled Sarah Connor leading John Connor and trying to raise him to be, you know, this military leader in a post-Judgment Day apocalyptic world. You know what I mean? That's what I want to see. I don't want to see, you know, another, you know, comeback to the past. You know what I mean? Especially if Linda Hamilton is acting in this one. You know, she has to be about the age that she is now. It's been... When did Terminator 2 come out? I'd say, I want to say 92. It, it's been over 20 years since the previous film she was in. So, you know, they have to explain that age gap. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to see a post-Judgment Day movie. You know, I don't know how you get there. I don't care if you just say, you know, we're keeping elements of three, but we're not keeping the whole thing. If you pull like an X-Men where you pull basically, basically what you want to pull, you know, I, I, I would be down with it. I'm taking this news with a grain of salt. I'm excited that, you know, we're getting a, a movie that's produced by James Cameron. You know, I'm glad that's where we're going. But at the same time, someone else said this, James Cameron was also the one who co-signed Genesis. <laughs> As if it was like, this is the best one. No, it wasn't. Stop it. I didn't hate Genesis. I like Genesis, but it was like, come on, stop it. This ain't Terminator. No, stop that nonsense. You know what I mean? Like... I'm just, I'm just hoping that they, they do something post-judgment day. That's the only thing I want. You know, do something that's good that's post-judgment day. If you do something that's good that's pre-judgment day, you're gonna have to really wow me to be just, just be like jump out of my seat. But I really want a post-judgment day movie that knocks that out the park. That we see that future war in depth that we've seen at the beginning of every Terminator movie. I don't know if that's where they're gonna go with it, but it'll be interesting to see. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys got your own. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the news of Linda Hamilton coming back? Are you guys excited to see her back? I know I am. I mean, no matter what happens, it's great to see the original actor or actress return back to the role. It's sort of like in Star Wars when, you know, Han Solo comes back in and it's like, Chewie, we're home. You know, there's just like a sort of, yeah, sort of feeling that you get in your gut. And it's like, yeah, that's awesome. You know, for Star Trek fans, I'm sure when they saw the original spot come on the screen, sort of like a, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's just nice to see the original actor or actress come back in. But, were you guys happy to hear about the news? Are you guys a little cautious about it? Or are you guys just super happy to hear about anything with these new films? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, guys. Please check me out on my other channel, Directors Jakes. And we got cool skits and short films for you guys, including To Kill a Hero, short web series that I did not too long ago. Be sure to check that out. I run a channel with my boy Johnny Lee as his own channel on JXB Entertainment. Be sure to check that out. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I'm the Messiah, this is Messiah Entertainment. I will see you guys next time. Peace.